only way we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can I think it's to build a castle. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Just spearmen. Wallace himself has sworn to join our forces and together we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. This is it. The final battle in this campaign. All comes to the Battle of Falkirk. Spoilers, the Scots lose. I also did a bit of research, and, um, you know, before I even start the scenario, it turns out that the Scottish force was made up primarily of spearmen. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. No matter what happens, I'm only, I mean, unless like to advance an objective or something, I have to make a particular kind of unit, then I'll do that. But aside from that, the only forces I will be sending into battle will be spearmen or pikemen or other things upgraded from that. So that said, let's do this. Any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Beat fear. Villagers, assume positions. surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. Wait, what? Oh, they're getting rid of outposts. I can afford to sacrifice some outposts. I'm gonna do a castle rush. You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age. The castle age. I'm way ahead of you, narrator. Okay. You're going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Forget that. Using the advance buttons, you can also order a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. I need spearmen. See, so what I'm doing is being very reckless. I'm not completing the walls. So, strictly speaking, I'm open to attack right now. But that's what happens when you castle rush. You make stupid decisions. I'm probably also handicapping myself by relying on spearmen. Just gonna put these guys here and make them actively watch the approach. Oh, our first catch of the day. Come on, come on. Alright. 
William should be here soon, and then it will be time to attack the English. Wallace has come. Oh wow. You shouldn't have. My objective. Yeah. Oh, destroy the English castle. One of your most oh, powerful right. units is created at the castle. Create ten more wold raiders. Okay, so different civilizations will have different special units. For the Scots, that's the Wode Raider, and uh, all special units are made at the castle. These are the Wode Raiders. Oh, these are actually elite Wode Raiders. So that's technically something from the Imperial Age. You upgrade special unit to elite special unit. Do not engage. To engage would be suicide. Engage that guy. Okay. Now engage that guy. Okay, now pull back. I want to stay out of tower range, is the point. You know what? Guys? Get rid of the gate. Yes, I know this is suicide, that's exactly the point. Get rid of the gate. Okay, good. Now pull back. Pull back. Get out of tower range. Okay, now attack. Stay on this side of the river. Oh, what are we doing? Need more spearmen. Okay. These six will be at our population cap. Attacked by wild animals? I mean, seriously? So wild animals are sources of food that will attack. Those are boars and wolves, I believe, are the only... I want to make sure they don't rebuild the gate. You know what, come. Destroy the tower. Okay, go to town on these guys, boys. Stay away from the town center. Stay away from the town center. Destroy their ability to make war. Now, to upgrade to pikemen. Alright, so the thing is, the English longbowmen, that's the uh, Britain civilization special unit. So those are made at castles. So even though I got rid of the archery range, uh, to finally be rid 
these guys, I need to get rid of their castle. And now I know where the castle is. Alright, everyone on their castle. Now, castles, you don't need to garrison anyone inside for them to be able to attack. The thing is, until um, a research thing that's in, I believe, the Imperial Age. Actually, no, it's, it is in the Castle Age, but they don't seem to have it. It's called Murder Holes. Until you research that, uh, these buildings that attack can attack things that are right next to it. So all of these guys, you'll notice, are not being attacked. And this castle's getting wrecked by a bunch of spearmen. The English castle at Falkirk is no more. The English pretensions in Scotland are surely Just at an end. Get rid of the town center. Uh, oh well. Oh, I got a ton of achievements from that too. You can't see because my camera's in the way. He would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet, somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious! Hmm? The English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one... That's not how the Battle of Falkirk ended. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he's but one man, he inspires great deeds in others, and many of the Scottish princes and lords have drawn their swords. The Battle of Falkirk was actually a Scottish defeat. Uh, William Wallace actually resigned his position as Guardian of Scotland after that battle because it was such a crushing defeat. He wasn't killed there. He was later. He's that was the beginning of him waging guerrilla war against the English. But you know, we in this scenario. We were victorious.